If you're looking to get started in acting by earning a BFA, I wanted to tell you my experience because that's exactly what I did. I earned a BFA from Cal State East Bay with an emphasis in acting and dance, and I'm gonna tell you everything about my experience at this Cal State, which should be pretty similar to going and earning a BFA in a lot of different universities around the country and the world. Let's start with a location. Cal State East Bay, the campus in Hayward is on a hill, and to get to San Francisco, because we are in the San Francisco Bay Area, but this is definitely not San Francisco. To get there, it's going to be around a 40 minute drive. Depending on traffic, it can be a lot longer than that. Or you can take BART, it's 35 minutes and it'll cost you $2.70 each way. So getting to San Francisco isn't impossible, but it's also not just like super easy and um, it can be a little nerve wracking if you've never taken public transportation before. I honestly didn't move straight to LA because I was scared of going that far, that fast away from my family. And I had two friends that were gonna be coming to East Bay for business. And I thought, let me go to East Bay for one year and then I'll build up the courage to move to LA. And um, I just really enjoyed my time here. So I ended up staying here for my entire college career. When choosing a university to attend, I highly suggest to think about where do you want to work after you have graduated? If you want to work in film or TV, consider LA because everybody in LA is either in the industry or knows somebody that's in the industry. And the people that you go to school with are more than likely going to be working in that market. Your professors are very likely still active in that world, in that market. Because for me, when I went to Cal State East Bay, a lot of my professors were still writing, directing, performing in local plays. And they were able to also connect me to people that had annual internships that were open or jobs opening up, open call auditions. So it's very important for in acting, especially it's, you know, the people that you know, and a lot of the time it's just friendships that you create or colleagues that you um, end up meeting along the way in mixtures, in the lobby at a play, different things like that. So being able to make a lot of friendships during your university in a market where you will be working is super important. You also need to think about the cost of the tuition. So CSU East Bay, Cal State LA, places like this are about $7,000 a year for your tuition if you're in state. If you're out of state, if you're coming from another state or another country, you're gonna be paying closer to $18,000, $19,000. And on top of that, that's just tuition. On top of that, you have to pay for rent and living here in general, doing fun things and rent. I've never paid less than $1,000 in, in the Bay Area for an apartment. My parents' mortgage for a four bedroom where I grew up is like $1,000. So it is definitely very expensive. Going to a four year university like Cal City Space for me was really important because I grew both artistically and personally. I don't come from a family with a lot of money. So I had to pay for my own bills. I had to apply for scholarships, get student loans and pay for everything myself, make my own decisions. As soon as I left home, I told my mom like, I'm not gonna ask you for permission anymore. That doesn't make sense for me to be like, can I be in this play? The rehearsal ends at 11 in San Francisco. She would have said no. So that allowed me to start making my own decisions and be like, okay, if you really wanna go do this, like go do this. Now specifically the theater and dance program here at Cal State East Bay, because it is a smaller program, you will be able to perform a lot more than if you went to a really big competitive school. So for this program, you don't actually have to audition to get into it. You just have to apply for the school. And if you get in, you get in and you choose your, you know, what degree you want to pursue. But in this program, because it is smaller, you actually get more opportunities to perform. So for me, I performed in two senior pieces. I was in the KCACTF. It's like a college competition. I was in even a musical, even though I'm not a singer. Um, I was in Yerma, NN12, Savage Love, Vagina Monologues a few times, Secrets Exposed. I was in a bunch of dance performances. And these are just the ones that I can list and remember, but I performed so much. I know that other schools where it's really competitive and you have to audition to get in, um, people would tell me, other actors that I met from other universities would tell me that they didn't get opportunities to 
perform that much. I also was in a couple of short films while I was here because there is a communications department and usually they're more like camera heavy, you know, like they actually use a camera versus theater. We would just perform on stage. But there were some communication students that were also interested in film and I was in the Campus Movie Fest and we actually won um, first place for comedic, even though it was supposed to be a dramatic film, but that's okay. <laughs> After you have finally graduated college, what I think you should do is to continue studying acting because you just spent the last four or so years uh, learning a little bit about so many different things, especially in the Cal State system. You learn about math, anthropology, geology, ethnic studies, scenic design, costume design. Just You learn about so many different things that you don't ever just focus on acting. And although you do come out of college having a general idea of what acting is like you discovered acting in school you performed a lot you still need to really hone your acting abilities i think at least this was my experience that i did feel like an actress i did feel like i could perform but at the same time i wasn't 100 percent confident when i went into auditions and i just didn't feel 100 percent confident as an actress i needed to explore more in that more of uh, my acting abilities so learning about different techniques after you have graduated or during college, you can um, learn about different acting techniques and then after find a studio that you really like or go to an MFA program where you can just focus on acting and really hone your abilities, that will help you so much. And you will always hear this, people say, uh, to always be in a workshop or an acting class or have a coach or something because as actors, sometimes you will act once a week, if that, and it's super different than any other career where when you're a doctor, you're practicing every day. Well, in acting, you might have a while before you actually act in front of other people and get direction. So you can get really rusty really fast. So definitely find a studio that you love after college so you can continue to go to it. And uh, here are a few things I wish I would have done while I was in school. First of all, I wish I was more brave when I was in school because there were a lot of other universities in the area that had film as an emphasis, people that were going to school to be directors, like on-camera directors or writers in the area. But I just, just, I was scared of going on bar or auditioning for other universities, but that would have helped me so much if I was just a little bit more brave and been in more student films while I was in school. I would have had so much more on camera experience. So that's one of the things I wish I did. I also wish that I would have applied for representation while I was in school because after I graduated and I finally got the courage to go and look for an agent in the San Francisco Bay Area, I realized it wasn't that hard for me, especially because in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's very commercial heavy. So a lot of the time they just need somebody that can act, you know, not the most amazing actor, but they need a certain look. A lot of clients just want a certain look and then like, can they act? Can they take direction? So I feel like I would have gotten representation if I would have seeked it during college and it would have helped me pay for some of my fees, which brings me to the last thing, which is I wish I was better with my money because I wasn't reckless, but there were also times where I like bought concert tickets or ate out a bunch and I just didn't spend my money wisely. I didn't get any funds from my family when I went to college. I got financial aid and then I got student loans and a ton of scholarships that I applied for. Um, but still wasn't enough to pay for everything. So I'm actually still paying for my student loans. Yeah, and it's like unlikely that you will pay for your student loans just from acting immediately after you have graduated. So it's super important to just be financially stable and, and smart about your money because you will have to budget a lot of things once you have graduated and especially if you're working in the acting industry. So I wish I had been better with my money. If you're looking for advice of whether you should go to a university to pursue acting, I say yes, go for it. Go learn a little bit about everything. It's not going to be easy, duh, especially if you don't come from a lot of money and you need to work really hard to be able to afford it, apply for scholarships. But let me know if you guys have any other questions specifically about the theater and dance program here at Cal State East Bay. I didn't go to any other universities, so I don't know about other programs, but I would love to tell you more about this program and uh, maybe we can do a part two and go deeper into specific things. Thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature, Celine 
Jeans Estevez. I have featured her in the past. She also makes acting related content about being an actress in the Southeast. And if you want to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.